Well, it's good to be back with you for our devotional time. And for the next uh, at least couple of weeks, I want to be sharing with you a message entitled The Gospel in Seven Words. And those seven words are these, wash me, wash yourself, and wash one another. Those seven words contain and express the, the whole spectrum of Christian experience. Now, let me share with you where these are coming from. First of all, from the book of Psalms, the 51st Psalm, where David is praying a prayer of confession over his sin with Bathsheba. And Psalm 51 is an incredible psalm that captures uh, his sense of repentance, his sense of guilt, and his expression and his desire to be cleansed from his sin. And so he expresses it in verse 2 and in verse 7 this way. In verse 2, David prays, Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Notice the phrase, wash me. And then in verse 7, he repeats that when he says, Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. So the first two words in the seven words of the gospel are, wash me. And then in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, and in verses 13 through 16, we see the second phrase that I want to call your attention to uh, today. Isaiah said, bring your worthless offerings no longer. Incense is an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath, the calling of assemblies. I cannot endure iniquity and the solemn assembly. I hate your new moon festivals and your appointed feast. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. So when you spread out your hands in prayer, I will hide my eyes from you. Yes, even though you multiply prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are covered with blood. Now listen to these next two words. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from my sight. Cease to do evil. So there we have the second two words in the seven words of the gospel. What were the first two words? Wash me. David is praying to God and he's asking God to wash him, to do something for him he cannot do for himself. And then in the second two words, God is speaking to David and God is saying, wash yourselves. He's saying that there's some responsibility that we have in our sanctifica sanctification process, that God is putting the responsibility on us to deal with sin in our life. Now here's the last three words. It's found in the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 13 and 14. Jesus is speaking here, and he says, you call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. Now that's just an honest, open declaration of his deity. He said, you call me Lord and you're not making a mistake. I really am Lord. And then he says, if I then, the Lord and the teacher, wash your feet, you ought also to wash one another's feet. Did you see those three words? Wash one another. So there we have the seven words of the gospel. Wash me, wash yourselves, and wash one another. And these three statements summarize the whole spectrum of Christian experience. Covered in these words are initial salvation. We call it regeneration when we get saved. Wash me. That's a picture of being saved. And then the phrase, wash you, pictures the whole idea of sanctification, of the process of growing and beginning to have victory over sin in our daily life. And then the theme covers the matter of personal service in the words, wash one another. So we have the three-dimensional perspective on salvation. Wash me, being washed, washing yourselves, and washing others. Over the next uh, uh, few weeks, we'll be considering those three dimensions of salvation. 
And during that time, I hope the Holy Spirit will speak to your heart and to mine about the fact that we need to be washed to begin with, but we also need to be actively pursuing God and pursuing holiness in our own life so that we can come to the point where we can serve Him by washing one another. God bless you today.